Welcome back guys hope you are doing great well in this video we're going to talk about a full stack online job portal application well basically this project is completely built from the ground by using the tech stacks like next.js and we are using shadc and ui for this materialistic ui and we are using the clerk authentication for the seamless user authentication and the session token management and everything and we are using the prisma and mongodb for our data sorry for our database storage and we are using the upload thing for storing the user resumes and the images and the attachments which we used on the jobs for uh, this online job portal so all these things are managed by the upload thing and we are using this google generative ai to generate the content for our job description and the keywords and for company descriptions about that particular company all these things are uh, managed by and created by using the google generative ai right and finally we're going to deploy this project live on versal okay so basically i'm gonna show you all these things even if you haven't used this tech stack before so we got you covered and we are going to build this complete project together so well this video is all about the overview about the project so let me show you what this project is all about okay so this is the search screen and basically this is not going to be your landing screen so landing screen is going to be this home screen so uh, basically this job portal have two different perspectives and privileges admin and client privileges where admin can create the jobs and create the companies and manage the jobs and how many users applied and sending the email for the selected users and the rejected users all these things and for the client you can able to filter and apply the jobs that's it and you can save the companies and you can save the jobs and you can access it through the menu options so over here you can see we having this nice landing screen and you can customize it however you wanted it which listing out the uh, the top companies and the categories and the recommended jobs and it's also having the search option so here if i click if i type ui and if i hit the search option that is going to bring the job which matches this particular text or if i want to search based on any specific categories which has already been listed out over here in this case a few uh, categories doesn't have any data because I haven't added it so let me click software development so that is going to list out this uh, jobs which is comes under the software development all right and if I get back to the home it's going to give you the list of companies the featured companies so far in this portal I have added only these three companies that's the reason it's listing out only three but if you are keep on adding multiple companies it's going to list out the top six companies over here and the recommended jobs is over here or if you wish to click the all the list of jobs click this view options that's going to take you to the search page where you can list out all the jobs and at the end you can see we having this nice uh, footer well if i click this browse option or if i click this profile option this profile it helps you um what is it uh, the profile page where you can customize your name and where you can customize your email and I can edit every single of these fields and it will be directly stored in my database and I can uh, add a multiple resumes and that will be uploaded directly on our data storage okay and it once it's uploaded it's going to be listed out over here and it's not and it's going to give you two different options which resume it's going to be live because by the time when you are applying the job you need to use only your live resume not the all the uploaded resumes right so you can choose between which resume you want to keep it alive in this case i'm going to keep this resume as live so i can activate that resume and you can see the resume is activated and it's uploaded over here right and if i wish to delete this resume also it will delete from the mongodb and as well as from the storage and if you scroll all the way down you can see the list of applied jobs which i already applied and i can sort it out by the name or company and i can view that specific applied job by myself here we go right so and at the bottom i can able to see the companies which i've been following if i want to remove that follow uh, unfollow that specific company also i can unfollow it from the company page itself okay so 
this is all about this uh, profile screen and if i click the saved jobs where i can able to see the list of jobs i saved already and i can remove it just by clicking this button over here or i can click this button over here and here also we having one more search option which helps us to search uh, over here okay so if i click ui see it's going to search based on our on your saved jobs over here right so if i click on the whole browse screen there we go so once you are in the browse screen you can see these filtering options where we can able to filter it by the date wise on working schedules working modes and experience if you wish to add multiple filtering or sorting options over there you can add it all by yourself in this case if i wish to list out the jobs which i created yesterday nope i don't have any jobs if i click this week nope this week also no job and if i click last week here we go so these are the jobs which i have created a last week and you can see when i created that particular job and if i click if i want only the contract based jobs or if i click only the full time jobs you can see this is the job which comes on the full time you can see it in your job code descriptions over here what is the experience hourly rate what kind of uh, work it is and how long so let's say i want the remote jobs and the remote job should be full time okay and i need only the minimum 2 years of experience nope and i need 2 to 4 years of experience here we go so we have only one particular job which matches in this searching options and at the top you can see we have the categories as well let's say if i want the data science nope we don't have any uh, jobs listed out on the data science so if i remove it from there um if i choose see if i choose 2 to 4 we have two different jobs one is remote and another one is i uh hybrid and let's say if i choose software development here we go see these are all the software developments because software development is also included and you can see we are including remote fresher and full time that's also included if i remove the software development that is going to list out all the jobs which matches that specific software development over here right so basically this helps you to sorting your data on your specific requirements so hybrid here we go see or even you can search based on the titles let's say search for developers here we go that's going to list out the jobs which matches the term developer right and hybrid so these are the, the sorting options and and this layout animation so whenever i'm applying any specific filter you can see it's having some layout animations which is nicely done by using the framer motion right so now let's jump into this uh, job card for instance this job is already saved right and let's say if i wish to save this all i have to do is to click and it will be instantly updated over here and it will be listed out in your saved jobs list right and now if i wish to open this job details if i click this job details that is going to give me the job details about the job what is the description and if that job having any specific attachment that will be listed out over here currently this job is already been applied so the user can apply that job for only one time after that he can't apply that job anymore right and he can't change that status also once it's applied it's applied no changes in that so let me open this one uh that is also already applied so let me open this one this one is also already applied oh come on i think i applied everything i don't think so oh wait a minute ah here we go so currently you can see so this is the job which i haven't applied and you can see the description and i don't have the attachment for this job uh, i have i want to show you the attachments mm. ah here we go so for the specific job if you have any attachments all you have to do is to click this and that is going to give you the list of uh, the, the pdf which or uh, whatever the attachments the user up attached over there you can able to go through that attachment before applying it and at the bottom all the way to the bottom you can see it's having the related jobs which is matches that specific category right okay so let's jump back okay i need to again figure it out which job i haven't applied 
UI and UX designer. That is also applied graphic designer. Yep, here we go. All right. So now, if I click this apply, see what's happening. It's going to bring you the uh, model, uh, which are going to list out your details, contact number, contact email, and your active resume. Or if you wish to change it, you can directly change it by clicking over here. That is going to take you to the profile page where you can up change the active link of your resumes. If you click this continue, that is going to drop a mail to your mail account, right? So let me click this continue. All right, job applied and you can see the status has been changed. Now, if I get back to my mail account and there you can see the mail, it's arrived, see zero minutes ago and you can see it's saying as thank you for applying and the sub content over here. So once you applied for a job, you will definitely get back a mail from the admin mail account who created that particular job, right? So this is all about the, uh, the client side. And one more thing I missed in the client side, which is nothing but for instance, if you wish to uh, view the uh, company based data, for instance, if I click this company, so I can able to see the all the information about that company where I can follow and unfollow that company so that you can see that once you followed, you can see the companies, whichever you followed in your profiles page, right? And this overview and why joining us and all these informations are generated by using the Google Generative AI. Okay, so if you click this jobs over here, so that is going to list out the jobs which is created based on that specific company. So let me get back to these Netflix. There we go. So here we haven't followed it. If I want to follow it. I can just click follow and that is going to increase the count. And if I click jobs, it's going to list out the jobs which is created by that specific company. Okay, so this is all about the client side. Now, if I click the admin mode and that is going to list out the jobs which I've been already created and I can change the status over here, whether it is published or I'm unpublished. So basically we are displaying only the published jobs on the front end, right? So let's say if I want to edit all these state, edit all the information about these jobs, I can edit every single information over here, right? So I can edit the uh, title or even I can generate much more tags for this. So you can use this tags to uh, filter the data in the front end. Or let's say if I want to clear it once I click this clear option okay so that particular job doesn't have any specific tags now if I click and if I say what is this job is all about web developer let's say web developer and if I click generate and that is going to use call the API for generating these tags which is being generated by the Google generative AI see web development, front end development, back end development. And if I use UI and if I click generate and that is going to include those tags in this, you can see UI design, UX and UX, Figma, Adobe XD. And if I wish to delete, I can delete it. That's it. So all these functionalities and features are seamlessly included in this. I'm going to show you how to build all these things step by step. And once I click save option, and that is going to be saved and it's going to list it back immediately over here. Just like the same way you can add the attachments for the jobs and you can change the company name, whatever the information you wish to. And if you click this edit information, the description. So basically this is the rich text editor where you can edit the company information and everything. And this description basically is generated based on the keywords, whatever you are supplying over here. So for instance, let's say full stack developer and react JS is must and node JS is must. And if I click generate, so that is going to generate the content and it's going to list it in the label box. So the reason I kept the label box separately because once you copied and pasted it, it is going to list out in this way. If you are directly saving it, it see if you are directly saving this, it's going to save the data without any format, formatage, without any format uh, formations or anything, alignments, nothing will be there, just like a rich text. But if I copy it from here, just by clicking that, just click this, it will be copied. 
and let me delete everything delete it and if i paste it over here you can see all these formats and everything will be perfectly over here all i have to do is to select and change this to bold or if i want to add the bullet points i can simply add the bullet points you can do anything you want if you want to cancel it just click cancel that's it it's going to keep the old data this is all about the creating the jobs and everything right and if i click the companies and get let me get back to the company and here i can able to edit this company details company whatever the social media information and the cover image and the com the overview and why you need to join this company just like exactly the same way what we did in the job and if you want, wish to create a new company all you have to type the company name for instance let's say abc internationals or something click continue and that is going to create the company and you have to complete all these necessary fields in order to publish this company otherwise you can't publish this just exactly the same way you have to do the same thing for your new job also for instance let's say for job is going to be content creator or something if i click continue that is going to create a new job and you can see this job is unpublished it will not be visible in the jobs list if you wish to publish you have to fill all these required fields then and then only you can publish this now if i get back to the uh okay so it is not let me refresh this okay here we go so now we can see you can see the job which we created and it's listed out over here and it doesn't have any category or company and if i want to see the applicants that's the most important thing right so once the job is created and once the user applied to the job you need to see the list of applicants who applied for that specific job right so to in order to get that all i have to do is to click this applicants and that is going to give you the users who already applied and the resume of that particular user so you can open and see the resumes of that specific user right and if you click this and you can able to send a mail either the user is selected or the user is rejected so let's say i'm going to reject this guy mail sent so now if i get back over here i will get a mail and you can see we are sorry we have decided to not to move further forward with your application and you can see that complete informations so all these mail templates are created by using the be free so i'm going to show you uh, how to create this mail templates by using the be free website which is completely free you can generate any kind of you can choose any kind of templates by yourself let's say if you wish to send the selected mail again click selected that's it this is going to send the mail from your gmail itself all you have to do create an app in your gmail by using the your uh, uh, gmail app and using the security key and the password which provided by the gmail app you can use it in the application that's uh, i'm going to show you how to use everything and mail will be sent instantly with that specific template whatever we added in our in our code inside over here right so this and uh, you can search by using the name also which user that you are willing to check the details so all these things are nicely done and i'm going to show you how to build this application completely from the ground and i'm going to help you out to learn this technology even if you haven't any idea of, about this tech stacks before all right and still i know that this project is a not complete project and we can able to make some changes here and there so let me know what you think about uh, what are the changes that you want to change and what is your opinion about this project and let me know in the comment section and soon we will upload this complete project so i will i'm waiting for your opinion about this project all right